You're watching EVH and Gear TV, brought to you by Stewart Travel Guitars. See the incredible stowaway travel guitar at stewartguitars.com. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. An official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com. Here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday to you all. Welcome to a brief live broadcast of EVH and Gear TV. We, as we just said, we are live. Going to be doing a bit of an unboxing and some jamming, uh, if, if time permits, after the fact. Had some technical difficulties before we went live here just a while ago. Uh, my Windows 10 machine, I use, two, I use two different machines when I go live. I'm using a Macintosh, which is in front of me with multiple monitors and then uh, and that's t trying to keep my you know my stream lean as far as using you know multiple tasks and things like that and then off to my right I've got a Windows 10 machine and the Windows 10 machine pretty much starts and stops my streams and is also my uh, tunes you know if I want to do some jamming which I plan on doing tonight which we'll try to do after the uh, unboxing it sends feed through my mixer and all that kind of good stuff and it just it, it must have did an update today and uh, audio drivers were going crazy. So that's what was the a bit of a delay getting the things started. So let's go say hi to a whole bunch of people. And uh, there was more people than I expected to jump in beforehand. They got there earlier because I think I did say I was going to be going live at 8. I bumped it to 8.30. Hence, probably the reason why there's more people than I would normally expect uh, when I'm ready to go live. So let's go say hi to a whole bunch of people. Brad Miller's here saying, uh, yes, first, Ladybug is here, Krell Bar. Uh, Joe Hervey is here. Uh, let me see. Scroll down a little further. Lots of conversation amongst one another. Um, uh, Krellbar says, anyways, I've noticed a lot of these people, uh, these shows hosts resemble famous people. I've mentioned this before in chats and no one responds. I tend to get told I look like um, uh, Derek Smalls from Spinal Tap. There we go. Yes. <laughs> and and, and Krellbar says it, right? Yes, you nailed it, right? Totally. And I'm getting the mustache back now, so I think we're probably safe to say we're getting it back and, and uh, we're getting there for sure. Uh, let me see. Continue. Dave R's Guitars is here. R2R3 Locknet is here. Thanks, buddy, for joining us. Uh, continue on. And I actually, yeah, I am on live chat. We're good. I had to check to see if I was on top chat or live chat. Uh, let me sc scroll down a little further. Uh, Trey's Fortnite Nether Games is here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll keep this PG for Trey tonight, which is always PG anyways. Uh, Dave R's Guitars, we we'll continue on, Let's see if I miss anything else. Charles Green is here, nice to have you. Jason Wade is here, very nice as well too. Uh, see if I missed anybody else, I don't think I have, we're getting there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Brian Cote, nice to have you buddy. Jason Wade, Steve Nysmith is here. I'm gonna, I scroll too fast, I'm gonna come backwards here a little bit. Tony Neville is here. Uh, Fred Siegel is here. Aaron Songs is here. Derek Merrill is here. Jim Dales. Good evening, everyone. Not a fun topic, but Eric, have you heard anything on your front about Eddie Van Halen's current health? Hopefully not as serious as reported um, by Eddie. Um, no, I have not. I, I have not heard anything else. Um, I think Eddie Trunk is kind of blowing that out of proportion. Um, I have no idea uh, what, where his health is. I, I'm hoping for the best. I've heard all these rumors as well, too. Um, but you know, I don't know. I really don't know. And I do think it's getting blown out of proportion. Uh, not your average Jojo is here. Uh, let me see. 80 of the day. Hey, it's good to see you, man. It was good. Nice talking with you on Facebook earlier. Let me see here. Uh, Hal face is here. Um, let me see here. Uh, Charles going to mention, and I think we're almost caught up. Yes, we are. I can, I can live with that. I think we got everybody. Okay. So we're going to jump over to a, a brief unboxing. And obviously, supporting my <laughs> love of Rode Microphones. Rode Microphones has been um, a, a supporter here on the channel, one of the, our sponsors. We have three sponsors here on the on the channel, and it's and it's uh, kind of varied over the years. Been doing this YouTube thing here, as we see it now, for about three and a half years. And Rode came in from the early onset and has been a great supporter of the channel um, and a, 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 you know, a great, great sponsor of the channel. And throughout, throughout everything you see here when I'm recording stuff with microphones on cabinets, whether it's a speaking microphone, a vocal microphone, whatever, um, it's Rode, strictly 100% Rode. And, uh, and the loyalty that I have to the words, those guys, has been phenomenal because they support me, I support them. I, uh, I totally, totally love everything that they offer. So they sent me some more products here to check out as well. And some of these things are going to be a, a godsend blessing for conventions, 
and kind of off, you know, remote type things, whatever. So if you want to do like kind of a, maybe it's a live stream from a, from an iPad or from your phone or maybe an interview, we're going to see what some of these things are. So we've got this, right? We're going to jump into it and uh, we will uh, get into it. I'm just going to text back to Nocturnal here. Okay. So it's a small package. That's not what she said. Uh, and we're going to jump into it right now and we'll see what we have. All the way from Australia, Sydney, Australia. And I do know I do know what it is, right? I haven't opened it yet, but I did see the packing slip. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple things here. And I'm going to try to highlight where we left off here as well, too. I see a couple other people that jumped in. Richard D. Little is also here. Uh, Chris Bevan is here. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Janice Lala is here. All right, there we go. I'm going to highlight there just so I don't uh, miss anyone. Okay, so they have sent me, us for that matter, here, because in the, in the family here, we are all a YouTube family. Road has sent uh, us an SC6L mobile interview kit. What this, combined, what this comes with, and the L stands for lightning, obviously, for your, for your uh, you know iOS devices. It comes with like a dongle that will allow you to plug in a uh, microphone, one microphone, two microphones, and your headphone jack. And it comes with two uh, wired lapel smart uh, smart mics, which is very, very cool. So this is great for remote, um, you know, interviews or, you know, any, any kind of thing like that. So this is fantastic. Uh, like I say, everything's in the box as, as included. And allows you to have a headphone monitor as well, too. So very, very cool. And this is something I've been greatly looking forward to checking out. Put this off to the side here for a second. Whoops, almost dropped one. We've got two of these. Let's put this down out of the way if we can. Rode just brought out the new Wireless Go kit. It's the world's smallest portable wireless system. Uh, great for filmmakers, good for the run and go shooters, like your NAM events, you know, your vid VidCons, all those kind of things. Uh, and basically, the transmitter has a, a, a vocal mic or like a, a, a microphone input built right into it, but you can still run a, your your traditional lav mics onto that as well too. I'll see if I can crack one open. And we'll have a look at one of them. So they send us two of these, which is fantastic. Thank you so very very much, Road. We love you to death. Let's have a look here. Crack this open. And I always oh you know what I shouldn't have ripped it like that because they I should have known better. They have really, really nice boxes, and I like to try to preserve these things. Above above me right now, you should see it. It looks like a Road R Us toy store above me. I, I save all these boxes. All right. I think that's just the one. I kind of damaged this one box. I didn't want to do that, but I'm very anxious. Oh, we almost have to damage this one. This is one of those kind of corrugated things you have to uh, rip. All right. So sadly, we have to destroy this box. Well, you know what? Just do it like that. There we go. All right, so let's have a look. Wireless Go. Wow, these are small. Check this out. Look at that. That's the transmitter and the receiver all in one. Try to pull them out carefully if I can. I've never opened one of these yet, so I don't know how they even come out. And as I mentioned, I do not want to destroy the boxes. I'm very fond of how they package things. All right, so we have wireless you know like the, kind of the dead cat type of things but mini ones All right it looks like a usb cable for charging because they do come with an internal battery that you will want to charge All right so there we go usb to whatever the micro usb whatever that kind of thing is and it looks like maybe possibly two of them to charge each device so there you go you've got two of those one for the transmitter one for the receiver all right let's have a look on the back okay so it's a clip okay very carefully don't want to break it all right, did not break it. So are they labeled TX and RX, kind of like the other ones? It's hard to, well, I guess, let me see. So one is a transmitter, one is a receiver. You can see those. They're very, very small. Try to get them together. And you could literally clip them on your shirt like this, and you could actually speak into it like that, or you could run, like I mentioned, a wired lapel to it as well, too. A full LCD digital display on that. Looks a little nicer. Try to show you that hard to see with the reflection and of course inside the kit a couple more windscreens for your microphones if you're going to put one of those on 
a is it a tip ring sleeve or a tip ring ring sleeve? It looks like tip ring sleeve, I think. Tip ring sleeve, I think that is. TRS. Actually, that might be, is that TRRS? I'm not sure. And then a real nice carry package as well, too. Let's have a look at that. Velcro carry package. You can put both of those in there nice and neat. Let's try it and see how they fit. One. Two. Look at that. Fits very, very nice. Nothing wrong with that. That's perfect. These are going to be really, really nice for doing kind of run and gun shoots. I do have other, like there are other uh, products that they carry. I, I could reach the boxes up there, but I'll show you the actual product in a second. They also, in their wireless lineup, they carry the wireless filmmaker kit and the wireless new shooter kit. And unfortunately, these ones won't communicate with those ones. It's a different type of technology. I'll see if I can show you those. A lot of you guys uh, that have seen my shows before, you've seen me probably use a lot of these, uh, the wireless kits. I'll show you what the other ones are. They're like these. we got a TX and a RX. Okay, so there's this is your wireless filmmaker kit. You have a transmitter and a receiver, right? Turn them both on. You pair them up. So I'm going to both go on. All right, try to show you that. There you go. That kind of thing. These will not communicate with the wireless go. It's a different technology altogether, but it's going to be a simplified thing. It's perfect for the run and gun shooters and for any of the any of the like my, my friends here that uh, you know attend the conventions like NAM or like I mentioned video, VidCon things like that. These are perfect because a lot of people are using their smart smartphones for recording. It's the ideal situation to plug in to, for your subject, whether it be the person you're interviewing. Stick one on to your phone, and you are ready to go with capturing the best audio that you can. So put that aside. And we happen to have two of those. Comes with a little instruction manual, and Rode is always good for that. And of course, silica gel. The manuals are always simple because they're pretty much self-explanatory. You turn these things on, you're ready to shoot and go. So there's just a couple languages, really not a lot to it. We'll just tuck that away. So I've been really looking forward to this. And it actually shows you too, is hooking up to your camera. You can actually even mount it in the hot shoe, I believe. So let's go back and look at that for a quick second. I want to see one of those. I assume it slides into the hot shoe as well too. But I love the clip. Very strong clip, USB jack on the side to charge. There's your microphone jack if you want to actually run a microphone to it instead of using the built-in one. Power on the side, and it may even be, it may come charged. I have no idea. Let's find out. Press and hold it. Probably not. Probably, oh, no, it does. It actually is charged. Look at that. It's ready to go. Let me see if I can turn on the other one. We'll find out if there's enough charge for them to communicate. Okay. And it actually has signal. Wow, look at that. You see that? They're communicating with one another. I'm trying to get them level on the screen. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Yeah, there's actually a signal um, reaching each other. Very cool. These are going to be great. I'm going to put these to a test tomorrow. I, will, I won't have a full uh, chance tonight to actually demo them. But let's just turn them off. And rip off that other. I, I love to rip out this stuff off. Want to hear it? <coughs> love that. New road smell. There you go. These are nice. Very, very classy. Okay, I'm turning it off. Okay, that's off. Is this one off? I want to save battery life. All right, let's jump back over to the chat because I want to see what I missed. I'll move some of these boxes. This one here I damaged a little bit. I'd love to keep this stuff in pristine shape, but it never seems to happen. At least I know when I open this one now, I just have to rip off the tape on the side, and we're, we're good to go. So we've got the wireless go. And we have the mobile interview kit, which is going to come in handy for the NAM type events and all those things on the go. Move my USB cable so I don't get those in the way of getting knocked over and move out over the bag. And, of course, a real nice uh, t TRS or tip ring ring sleeve cable. Let's have a look. Let's go back up. Uh, let me see. Ah, scroll back, way back, way back. Uh, Jim Dale says, it was cool to see that all the road gear televised during the Raptors parade. Great advertising for them. For, I, I did not see that, so unfortunately, I can't, uh, I, I, I can't attest to that, but that's very, very cool. <laughs> Brian Cote says, don't cut yourself. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change over to the other camera here just because I'm looking over here at the chat. So I'm almost looking at the camera, so let's do that. Uh, let's scroll back a little ways. I'm the worst when it comes to unboxings too with cutting stuff. I almost, almost always injure myself. Joe Hervey says, wow, dope. 
Uh, Dave Vars guitar says those are cool. Ladybug says those are super cool. Uh, Brian Cody, let me know what you think of those, Eric. If they're good, I will order some. I will let you know t- tomorrow for sure. I'll put them to the test. Uh, let me see here. Thank you, Nocturnal Butterfly, for the road link for sure. <laughs> Richard D. Little been looking into these, and I'll, I will give a report on these as well tomorrow. I, I can give a full uh, product review as far as the, the filmmaker kits I was showing you. I have a really cool video on my channel. If you look back, look for the Rode Wireless Filmmaker Kit review. And, it, and really, it did not do that well as far as views. Um, and I love it. It's one of my favorite videos on my channel. It just did not take off as far as views. But they they talk about the specifications of how far these microphones work, about 100 meters in the wild. And I literally went out to a soccer field and I was reading product and like, you know, I was reading the manual on my phone as I walked 100 meters away from my camera. It's a really cool video. I think you should check it out. Um, and it kind of shows you some of this wireless technology that Rode is, uh, is known for. So look, just search that on the channel. It's one of the ones that doesn't have a ton of views, like I said, but it's still, I, I still think it's one of my better videos. Continue on. Uh, let me see here. Richard Little says, uh, great info. Thank you. And those will fit in your guitar pickpocket. They almost would, right? They certainly would. They certainly would. Um, let me see here. Continue on a little bit. Coot 13. Hi guys. Been a while. Just rehabbing. Uh, rehabbing a new hip. Ooh, that's not good. I hope you uh, have the best with that. Um, let me see here. <laughs> uh, let me see if I miss anything else. Okay, I think I'm down to the bottom. So that is Zach Thong is here as well, saying, hey, Eric and Nocturnal Butterfly. Okay, so I am going to, for the next little tiny bit, we're going to keep this short because I know Dave Reese is going live here in a little bit on his channel. We're going to do a little bit of playing just for some fun, just to kind of... Uh, kind of dust off the cobwebs for me and uh as we wrap up the live performance playing i'm going to grab my can you see it you, you can see it my line six variax jtv 89f the only reason why i'm going to play that one tonight towards the end is because i just changed the strings on that one and it, it might sound kind of funny okay wow you're making a big deal about changing strings but it is a big big deal because that guitar comes with uh 10 gauge strings from the factory and for when I first got a couple of the Variax guitars, the the that one first, and then the Shuriken, I, they come set up with 10 gauge strings from the factory, and I was I was uneducated, and I thought, well, you know, I think you need the thicker strings for the piezo systems, or piezo, however you you like to pronounce them, to communicate with one another, and that's kind of like the secret behind the acoustic and the Variax and all the 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 computer technology inside the guitar. And really, it was something I was more worried about than nothing because they do communicate very, very well with a 9-gauge string. I've gone down to 9s on that guitar, and oh my goodness, it's an absolute shred demon guitar. The Dario 9-42 uh, uh, NYXL strings, and it plays great. So we'll save that to the last. I'm going to grab some headphones here in a second. We'll jam some uh, some tunes. And uh, actually, one of my regular presets that I play with all the time, my Eric Triple preset I use, I was missing one particular effect that I really needed on that, and I'm going to start off the night with it. I'm going to play our song Fly, and in the studio when we recorded it, we actually used a real Leslie speaker to, re- to simulate the, you know, the vibrato. You know, well, it's a Leslie effect, and I ended up using in Line 6 Helix, I used a harmonic tremolo, and I think it sounds very, very nice. I've got the speed match rate kind of on par. So we're going to have a look at that. There's a bunch more people jumping in as well, too. So I want to say hi to these great folks before we do that. Um, and I'm hoping my playing will suffice tonight because I am tired and sore. I've been digging dirt, uh, filling in with those that know me. <laughs> We've been doing a pool project, and I've been shoveling in dirt, filling in like the back the backfill of all the where they dug the pool out by hand. And uh, I'm sore. And I'm a guy that works on computers all day long. I'm not a physical guy. So um, I'm a little sore and I'm a little wimpy at the moment, but we'll see if the mojo will carry on uh, through the guitar. Fingers crossed. Michael Easter is here. Thank you for joining us. Scott Connor is here. Uh, Coots13, I think I did mention you. We're going to conti- continue down. Bucket Full of Balls is here. I always say this. If you're going to have some balls, you got to have a bucket full, right? Uh, Mitch Hammond is here. Sorry, Eric, I'm late. There's no penalty for being late. And there's no penalty for being late. None whatsoever. Joe Harvey's uh, Slayer Time. Uh, Sean Zimmerman is here. I hope you are well, buddy. I really do. J J J K House of Harleys. Hello, Eric. Um, Jer- oh, I missed Jeremy Carter. I think yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, I think I have. Yeah, Scott's tired and sore too, right? 
All right. Well, wishing you the best. A hot bath would be great. Okay. Let's grab some headphones. Let's get these going here. Hello, hello. Okay, let's get that going. Let's get more feed in my headphones. Yeah, okay, now we're talking. Um, and I was worried at first because I didn't think I was going to be able to do, send my feed of tunes in, back into my mixer because I'm using the Windows 10 machine off to the side, and it just was not cooperating. I think it did an, an update today, and that is what was the problem. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of fun things tonight as well, too. I'm going to show you some of my wet, dry, wet presets I've worked on. So we're going to start off with a guitar that we're going to be playing most of my tunes because almost all of Find Decor's songs, my songs, are in a key of E flat. So with that being said, we're going to grab the Kramer Pacer, okay? I'm going to use Line 6 G10 Relay for my wireless choice. All right, and we're going to stay on the Eric Triple preset, and we're going to kick it off somewhat. It's going to be somewhat mild. We're going to play that song, Fly, because I told you I added that harmonic tremolo to be the um, the equivalent to the Leslie that we use in the studio. All right, there we go. That's not bad. All right, you're going to hear this when we get to it. There's a nice arpeggiated little uh, riff. like uh, the, the chord goes like this. But... We add that harmonic tremolo on there, and we got this. I think I nailed it. So when you you, you tell me when I get the uh, tunes going. So let's give that a try. And I'm gonna try to highlight. Uh, I'm gonna try to highlight right at coots. All right. Awesome. Okay, let's get let's get fly loaded up, and we'll, we're going to gradually go up in dynamics here. Okay, so we're going to go back to the 50. No, actually, sorry, Silence album, which was recorded in 2005. I'm going to mute my microphone here in a second, and we won't be super long today. I'll go through probably about eight songs, something like that. All right, we're going to get ready on the distortion channel. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Godspeed.
that's a good time to take a break. Let's double check that tuning. Just let me out. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Let's go backwards a little bit in the chat. Aaron Songs, Gussie Wells, Guitar Hacks here. Nice to see you, buddy. Keith says, a hey, great playing. Feel it, brother. Thank you so very, very much. We're going to try to rock it up a little bit more each time. We'll maybe slow down for a couple songs, and we'll come back around. Let me see here. What else did we miss? Lots of conversation. Love it. I just love reading the conversation amongst one another. Uh, <laughs> can I play any Backstreet Boys? I cannot. But I'll try to work on it. Nice. I'll work on it one day. Thomas Maynard, uh, trying to copy on my gem. Very, very nice. Awaken Dust, heavy, heavily melodic. Nice. I like that. I can live with that. Uh, you should move dirt more often. You're on tonight. Bucket full of balls. Says, Thank you. You know what? I've, I, maybe I'm getting the physical strength that I didn't have <laughs> for a while because I've been busting... I've been busting some balls out there in that dirt. Pooh Ninja uh, is here. Uh, we all on harmonic, right? I do like that. That That's the thing I like about that song. And you got to snap your hand off the strings to get that. And you know, the funny thing is, the solo on that, If I, I could probably have used my harmonic uh, tremolo. When I recorded that in the studio, when I'm doing the... Believe it or not, I'm using my EVH Phase 90 on full blast to get that that kind of thing. But I mean, the harmonic tremolo does it. Very, very simple solo. I, t I tend to, because I don't use it um, now, I tend to use the wah pedal and just kind of embellish it like this. Like that, that kind of thing. And then... Something like that. I always mess it up, but something like that. Uh, let's go continue on back. Um, Brad Miller, anyone when he was holding that E minor was hitting the harmonics or tapping? Yeah. Right, let's go back to that. We'll bring that back up. I tend to accent a lot of things just with little tiny notes. So many notes you can hit with our mics. All kind of fun stuff, right? All kinds of fun stuff. Harmonics just so very, very cool. Um, we'll continue on with some more jams here. We'll wrap up shortly. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Let me see here. Now, I don't think the mojo is going to be here, but I'm always never afraid to fall flat on my face. And I probably will here. But let's just go. Let's jump out of my main preset. Let's jump right out of it for a second. And if I fall flat on my face, you can you can witness it here. And I'm not embarrassed to do it. Let's go up a couple more, a couple more, a couple more. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm, just, I'm actually stepping on a board down below here. All right. <laughs> And why am I hearing? Okay, something sounds very weird. Let's go back for a second. Oh, I know why. Continue on. Continue on. Oh, we're getting closer. Now we're getting closer. All right. <laughs> something went kind of mono on me for a second. I'm not sure why. Weird. Okay, it's going to back up. Just have, have patience with me just for a second. I'm getting all kinds of weird things happening on my helix I did not see. I'm not sure what's going on here. Talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Okay, we'll go back to the triple for a second. Make sure we're in tune. Did I see... Let's go backwards. Hey, Futo and Adam is here, man. Nice to see you, buddy. one of my Van Halen style presets and I don't normally do this live and I love to do it live because if I like I say if I fall flat on my face it's all good right and you get to see it okay I'm just wondering why we don't see it here on my board very strange 
I might have to go without it tonight, and that's a bummer too. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll, I'll, I'll try to find it. Oh, hang on, I found it. I got it. All right, and again, I'm gonna fall flat on my face, most likely. Even even Eddie Van Halen will tell you. I think there's a quote with Eddie Van Halen that says, "Whenever you play something like as iconic as Eruption, it's like falling down the stairs." And you are going to fall down the stairs. As a guitar player, as an entertainer, as a comedian, you're going to fall down the stairs. You just have to find your spot and pick yourself up as you fall down those stairs. Whether you're going to pick yourself up and recover on the second stair, or you're going to fall down to the bottom and break your collarbone. I did that one time. Fell down all the way down the stairs at my parents' house and broke my collarbone. You just got to try to find your spot. And in the, the outro part of Eruption, which is one of the easiest parts, the top, oh, Thomas Maynard did a $2 super chat. Thank you so very, very much. Um, finding that exit spot, like, okay, your typical type, not that part. So the, the hardest part for me is that S, uh, descending part. And that's where I'm finding myself falling down the stairs. And I'm just trying to, okay, okay, I'm counting, I'm counting, I'm counting. I'm waiting to find my exit spot and I will probably fall down the stairs. And you just got to find your, your spot where you pick yourself up. So this is not going to be an accurate representation of Eddie's playing. Uh, I do happen to like this tone. We're going to just try to do a little bit of eruption-esque and see what you think of this, okay? This was not planned for tonight, but let's see what you think, okay? And this is from the Pasadena Proud preset. Okay, so all my favorites of performing that, that's probably about my 65, 70% okay with. But you know what? It's one of those things, and I, if any of you people are trying to do eruption, if I can give one piece of advice and, I'll, and preach it back to me, slow it down. And I did it too fast as well. Just take your time. Just work on that. Feel the waves. Of course, we could take that same thing, go back over to the rhythm channel, get rid of some stuff. And we could do this. So there you go. That's enough probably Van Halen for now. We could always jump over to, uh, let me see, do I have the... Uh, VH Drive in 55. So the cool thing, I'll, sh I'll just show this for a second. With the with Van Halen, when he whenever he plays clean, even when he's on his clean channel, he's not really crystal clean. It's not a shimmering Fender clean tone. He's usually high gain, rolling his bo volume back. So on this preset in VH Driving 55, I've got uh, this is what you hear. That's as high gain as you get. But you roll your volume back. All right, and listen what you get just by rolling your volume back a little bit. And keep in mind, this is the digital modeler. Digital modelers don't usually respond to volume control like this does. Watch. So now you got this, right? Mm -hmm. 
the only response. I'm going to the rhythm channel. That kind of stuff, right? Jump over to uh, VH Modern Truth, which gives you kind of that nasal tone. I always describe this tone as a wah pedal, kind of half, kind of engage a little bit. Let's go to the rhythm channel. That's oh, lead, sorry. Jump on that old SDA 3000 delay. Pop on the octave. Let's kill the microphone for a second. There you go. So now we'll jump back to something I know how to play a little bit better. We'll do some of my own stuff, and we're going to jump over to... Let me see here. I didn't see uh, Hooker Jams here in the chat tonight, but we're going to play this one just for Hooker Jams. Jump back over to Eric Triple, which is, believe it or not, a free preset on Line 6 Custom Tone. Here we go. All right, here we go. This one is Fantasy. This one is for all the uh, working girls... Choose the the pole as a profession. Here we go. One night, two days, it's free. One night on your knees. 
probably a very good place to take a break because I'm sweating like crazy. Let's go jump back and see where we left off. We're going to probably play just a couple more songs. Yeah, we're getting getting short on time here as well, too. Joe Hervey, what a night. Uh, R2 says, I had to pick up my Gibson Les Paul. Um, Terry Heim says, um, well, we're agreeing on things here. I play all styles of music. What Eric playing is not my thing, but I appreciate the technique. My playing live days were in the 60s, 70s, and, 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 70, 60s, 70s and 80s. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Guitar Hack. I appreciate that fire extinguisher. I'm going to show you something here in a second. We're going to jump over to my uh, very axe in a second. We're going to jump up to a more uh, you know, in tune. We're going to be going up to 440 tuning here in just a second. Um, let me see here. What else? I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. It is very warm in this room, and it's not because of me. It's these lights. Even though they're LED lights, when you comp- when you put a whole bunch of LED lights on, they do get warm. Don't let anyone tell you that's not true because it is. Ed B says hi there. FNF is here. Todd Graff, thank you so very much, Thomas Maynard. Uh, you should at least be a studio musician, Eric. Thank you, Thomas. I appreciate that. I kind of retired from from you know doing my thing as a musician, but it's nice to be here at home. But who knows what the future may offer, right? Let me see here. Fred Siegel sounds great. Thank you so very very much. Thank you very very much. I just enjoy being at home, being able to jam, being able to you know say good night to everybody and thank you, and then I walk open the door and the family's right there. It's really really nice. It's kind of nice compared to the old days of being on the road, coming home as the sun's coming up. You know, it's sometimes not even getting a shower, going off to work. Those days, uh, it just, I don't miss those days for sure. I'll see what else we've got left. Uh, <laughs> Ladybug says Eric has rocked me to sleep. I'll see what I have left here that we can do before I tune, change guitars here. Lo- playing this Kramer, I just absolutely love it to death. All right, you know what? We will do, let's try this. Let's, you know what? This is a Jason Wade song. And if Jason Wade's still here, he doesn't even need any introduction. He knows what this song is. I spent a lot of time today out in that sunshine. And uh, this is all about that, being in the sun and enjoying that, what it feels to the body, to the mind, to the spirit, all that kind of thing. Very, very simple guitar. Nothing flashy here. doesn't have to be. It just It's all about the song. And let's enjoy some sunshine. If it decides to play. Come on, Windows 10. Microsoft, I think you can. I do really think you can. Can you do it, Microsoft? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not Microsoft. It's Eric. It's Eric not unmuting the channel. Thank you. 
That was fun. I think I've only got a couple left. We've got a bunch of new people jumping in the chat here as well, too. So if you're new here, this is kind of a thing I say a lot. It's not a cliche. It's not a broken record. But thank you so much for arriving here. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad that you are here. And if you subscribe right now, hit that subscribe button, hit the post notifications, that bell, hit that thing, ring it. And I promise to work just as hard to keep you as a subscriber as I did to get you as one. And I mean, really, I did nothing here to get you here tonight for some of these new people, but blessed to have you subscribe. And I promise to work overtime for you. Probably just a couple of songs left here. And uh, it's feeling pretty good. Feeling really, really good. Uh, loving this. So I'm very happy to have these new people here. Loving it to death. I wonder if I have anything left in drop D since we're down in this lovely tone. Let me see here. Uh, you know what we could do? We could try this for fun. You know what? Okay. We can either try touch or we can try so deep. I think we're going to play uh, touch just for the sole fact that things touch you, you know, like, you know, things in life. And uh, I don't mean in a bad way. I'm talking about, you know, how things interact with you. And this is this is a song about touch and how it reaches you. Okay, let's see what we think of this one here. Nice little simple riff. By the way, in that last song we were playing with Only You, that was uh, that that solo was inspired by two people, Chuck Berry and Ace Frehley. That was the kick off of the solo. That's all Chuck Berry and Ace Frehley. Doesn't have to be crazy, and that's the two people that inspired me to write that portion of the solo. All right, so we're going to try some touch. Here we go. Mute the microphone, wrapping up soon. Thank you. 
right, as we conclude this live jam, I'm going to grab one other guitar. I'm going to play two songs. And unfortunately, we lost Jason Wade because he's retiring for the evening, and that's cool. I'm going to retire very soon as well, too, because I'm tired from working outside all day. But this is in his honor. We played two songs. Well, one song in his honor tonight we played uh, In the Sun. And this one he's going to regret missing tomorrow. I know it. But hopefully I play it justice for him. We're going to play two. And actually, one is for Brad Miller. This one's coming out for Brad Miller. He knows which one this is. If he's still here. And the other, we're going to end it on the note for Jason Wade. These are the last two songs of the evening, guaranteed. For this one here, I'm grabbing the Line 6 uh, very axe JTV 89F, which was the Floyd Rose. Okay, make sure we're good. And why? Okay, you know what? I think I muted. Yep. All right. All right. So we're gonna play a song here uh, called "The Power." I've sold my lead channel. That's why it's so loud. And I just upgraded this guitar. Or I got ch- changed the strings from 10 gauge to 9 gauge on this thing, and I absolutely love it. All right, so this is going to be for Jason momentarily. We're starting. <laughs> I'm so unorthodox here. We're gonna we're gonna play this one for Brad Miller. All right, we need to find "Pass You By." This is a beautiful song. <laughs> Here you go. This is for you, Brad. All right. And after this, we're going to wrap up with some power for Jason Wade. And thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in.
All right, and the last song for the evening, this is in Jason Wade's honor, a song I wrote 22, 23 years ago, uh, probably the most rocking song I've ever written. It's a song called The Power, and if you listen very, very closely in the bridge, or kind of like the breakdown part before I start going stupid in it, you'll hear Al Pacino from the movie Scarface, which is my all-time favorite movie. First you get the money, then you get the power, and then you get uh, whatever, something like that. Whatever that quote is, and I so, so, feel so bad I don't remember the quote, but you hear Al Pacino if you listen very, very closely. This was recorded on a Tascam uh, 244 Border Studio, whatever you want to call it, thing, on cassette. I'm doing the keyboards. It's a Lynn drum machine back in the day, which was very popular in the 90s. And we're going to play that one, and we're going to say goodnight to everybody. And I need uh, a guitar and 440 tuning, and I need a Floyd Rose. So here we go. Let's get it ready. Um, and I and it's got some crazy tapping in this part. It's um, one of these things that was very inspired by, you know, Joe Satriani, the app. that right so there's a part i lost another guitar pick man i'm going through guitar picks like like crazy tonight i do a part in here i go and then i go up okay then we go into the kind of an iron maiden kind of thing so this is everything and including the kitchen sink as a guitar player, as like a 20-year-old kid or whatever I was, 20-some-odd-year-old kid trying to cut my teeth, mm-hmm. this was the song that I wrote that actually let me win the Guitar Wars, which uh, I showed on Guitar Hacks channel last night, that nice Yamaha Pacifica. I won that as a prize for writing this song and, and playing it live. So here we go. We're going to try this our best we can do. It's recorded on the cassette. The dynamics are going to sound horrible. Uh, but you know what? Here we go. This is for Jason Wade. Let's get that dirty channel ready to rock and roll. <laughs> It's called The Power. We'll say goodnight to everybody. I won't even say goodnight after this. We'll say thank you so much for joining. If you're new here, as I said earlier, please hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that bell, turn on post notifications, and I promise to work overtime for you to keep you as a subscriber. Here we go with The Power. Have fun, everyone.
you're still here? Eric Jr. here, reminding you to check out our full lineup of quality merch. Available right now in the Broadstash Boutique. Quality products and fast shipping. Visit Broadstash.com today. I am now on Patreon. If you enjoy my content and wish to support my channel and what I do, then please check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash EVHGearTV. Your support assures the continued growth of this channel and a fun community in which to share our love for Van Halen, music gear, and much more. My name is Eric Hansen, Wolfgang Guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs. Microphones for EVH and Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones. And official Van Halen merchandise is provided by vanhalenstore.com. Thank you.